Hello everyone and today we're going to be talking about everybody's friend, your friend and mine, Google and specifically Google search. No, not any of the other things that Google do. We're going to focus specific, specifically on search today because I think it often gets left behind in terms of um, when people think about Google, they think about all all the other things that Google can offer but, but today what I thought I'd show you is some tricks that you might not have known or you might have forgotten about with Google search so let's st start off with an, uh, be, um, be some search engine commands so what if you want to find exchange rate well you could search for currency converter um, uh, and then do it through there but Google ha has their own official co currency converting thing built right into their search engine and you don't even need to go into a different thing so how it works is um, you can say USD to G GDP for instance, and this is a new thing that Google has added. Um, so for these flash search results, and it knows that I'm in the in, in the UK because I'm on Google.co.uk. So splits up yeah US USD to GDP first. So if I click that, it's going to give me an official thing right from right right from Google so to speak and that is going to say rates provided are for informational only so don't let, rely on that and let, let's look at some other features of this search engine a lot of people often don't click on this um, show more options on but it's actually really cool you can break down the uh, um, results from videos news blogs forums and, and when they came out so if you're only looking for recent recent news you can now narrow it down to say the last 24 hours you can see different views including a wonder wheel and timeline view um, you can see um, well, you can increase and decrease the results and see uh, more shopping results and the, this is something that I'm actually going to show you the page previews so how many times it's have, uh, have you been to a website and um, discovered that you don't like what's on the website well, 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 this can be resolved with the page previous feature. If we click on that, it'll give us um, some more about the web page and excerpt um, from the web page and also has a screenshot that we can click on to get a larger version. So that is the more info section. Let's now look at the buttons down here. You can see we've, we've got the URL. That's nothing new, but we've, we've also got this cached option. The, this allows you to see the um, latest version that Google has cached for a website. So just think it's down. And, and Google does actually cache entire websites. So that's what people mean when they say that um, you can never truly move anything off the internet. So it will give you the pay, page name and a screenshot of what what this was like when it was taken. Um, if we head if we head back to the Google search results, um, there's a couple more things we can do. So that was kind of a tour of some of the things you can do. Um, we, we we can also do a cool command which is 
define and then we can type in a word define colon and a word. So I could just do um I don't know. YouTube and it brings me up like whole of definitions from YouTube. One from Wikipedia, one from Wikidictionary and just a whole bunch of reputable dictionaries and I guarantee that um for any word in the dictionary using this Google search thing you'll be able to find a whole bunch of <coughs> bunch of stuff <coughs> that may be of use to you and um, so that so that is finding definitions next is Google advanced search and by default you have to have all of these words and um, but you can uh, you can do a search with this exact phrase if you want to exclude some words you can type them in there, and you can uh, you can only have words from a specific website. You can define the number of results you show. You can define the language, define the format of the file you want to show. So Google doesn't just show HTML files. You can get direct links to SWF files and a whole bunch of stuff, um, and you can def define your search by when the page was created, what license it it's used, um, so you can def define whether you, you can use it or not. Um, you can define where you want the text to be located. So if you're to, to be easy to find, you can say um, even even what region it was created in. So, in 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 short, Google is a really advanced search engine, and you may not have known some of these tricks. I hope you enjoyed this video, and it it will help you um, to use Google more efficiently. If you've enjoyed this video, you may also be interested in checking out my tech-focused blog. That I write on Techno Buffalo. It's technobuffalo.com forward slash future tech. And I post a post most days showing my opinions on te a range of technology c content. So, technology news, I um, give you tips, tips and tricks to improve your battery, battery life. I do reviews. I do a whole bunch of stuff. So, if you're into technology, which I'm guessing you are, if you're watching this video, please go over to www.technobuffalo.com forward slash future tech, where you can subscribe in your RSS reader to get more great content. Thanks for watching. And if you've liked this video, please subscribe. <laughs>